this is part two of the video about travel guides so in this particular video we are going to make more versions of travel guides which you can use on amazon kdp uh, we can start with the one for london now in order to make these travel guides all you need to do is first find the correct image in this particular video i'm going to be getting my images from pexels which is inside canva i advise you not to use this pexels inside inside canva because it may lead to termination of your account on amazon kdp first i want to use some grids in order to make this book cover work so all i have to do is come here and type the word grid as you can see i come to elements and type the word grid then i click here i come to this one it says grids then i click on see all so i'll see all the grids here now from here i can select the grid that i want first i want this grid this one here i click on it it will come here and then i can stretch it upwards that can be fit only the upper part of the cover now the next grid i want is this whole one so i'll click on it and then it will come here and then i drag it down up to here and drag this part up and leave it around here now I want this type of grid again, so all I have to do is duplicate it. So I click here and I and I duplicate it. So I want to duplicate it, duplicate it, then I drag it down and I stretch it to be bigger. So that is the grid I want. Next, I have to get the images. So to get the images, let me go here and get the image of London. As you can see, I type here London, I click London. But don't do this for you get your own image from anywhere you want. So as I've typed London, all up, just drag this image and bring it here, and then double click on it. Double click on the image and drag its ends. I want to focus on this thing. Focus on this part of the London. So that is one of the images that I've put. Now, the next thing I want is to add two more images up here. So all I have to do is drag an image from here to there. So I, let me use this one. So I drag it up to here. As you can see it has entered then i drag another one in that corner so next i have to get a, a shape so i come to elements again type uh, squares let me say squares type squares and as you can see they are squares here so i will click on this one click on it it will appear here and i drag it up drag it up up to here then i stretch it stretch it all to fit here then after that from here as you can see it has rounded corners so i don't want rounded corners i click on it and i click on this hamburger icon then i reduce this corner rounding to zero as you can see now i have this after this i can click on it again click on the hamburger icon then click on this line the first one click on it and then click on this to change the color click on this change the color now i can put it maybe to white i want white then this other color brown is not so good so let me try red see i click here and i try red color which is here click on this as you can see it's somehow looking good but i, I still want this with it this border to be big to be more bold so i click on it come to the hamburger icon and i drag the border weight until i see that it's the way i want it so as you can see the border weight is increasing the border weight has increased now i can leave this I come here again and drag this to, to pass excess and I drag this side also excess. The next thing to do is to put the title here. So all I have to do is come to text. From text here, I, I type London in capital letter. I want it in capital letter. So I cap lock and I put London. Move it up. London. This is the word London and I change the font. Now this font canvas sans is not so good. So I can change the font. Click here. Maybe try this chunk 5. Click on this chunk 5 and see. Uh, uh -huh, this chunk 5 is not bad. So I can increase it. Increase it. Fit. Increase it and make it bold. Make it bold enough. And then double click on it to change the color to white. Now from here all i have to do is add the word travel guide so i can come here and get this add subtitle click on it and then add the word travel guide you can make it also capital travel guide you say london travel guide so i come here and i put it here from here i change the font click on it and then come here look for a better font like maybe this hello is extended click on it and see uh that was not good Maybe try this one up here. 
uh -huh, that one looks a bit a little bit better and then increase the size click here to increase the size so as you can see now i have london travel guide and i make sure this is centered i click on it and i click on these dots click on position and it is already centered and i click on this one also i make sure it is centered so london travel guide this is already a good book cover now as i told you before 70% of a good a good book cover for travel guide is made by the image. So as you can see, what I've said is true, is that you're seeing here we have only like 30% of words and 70% of image. And the cover is still looking good. Now from here, all we have to do is add the name. Come here, tap on this and come down here and maybe use a name, maybe say Jane. Dog. Add the pen name Jen Do. From here, you can see that the pen name is not looking good, so I double click on it. After that, come to effects, and from effects, come to this one background. Click on this. After this, you change the color of the background to maybe red or so. Change to red, as you can see. So you can also change the effects of the roundness. You can see this thing of roundness. If you reduce the roundness, then it will become a square. As you can see, now I have some repetition within my book cover so then i can reduce the size so reduce the size you don't need your your pen name to be too big so reduce the, the size to gen now what if your your travel guide has subtitles and you don't want it to be like this you don't want it to look this generic now there are things you can do to change that first you have to change the position of the pen name so to change the position of the pen name all you have to do is come and click on the pen name Click on the pen name. I first change the shape, so click on effects, and then come down to this shape. You find this, and you click on this one. So I want it to be rounded. As you can see, it is rounded. Now, from round, being rounded, I can move it up to this page, this part here. So I move it up there, and I leave it there. Now, second thing, I pick this back, this shape, and duplicate it. Click on this plus to duplicate it, and move it down. All you want to do is add your subtitle yes after moving it down then you can get your subtitle let me say i have a subtitle which says what which says essential travel tips and all you need to know so essential travel tips and all you need to know so come here and add essential you click here this drag it down then paste paste essential travel tips and all you need to know and from here and then you can change font so i come here click here and i i look for the font i want the better font you do this until you find the correct font the font that matches yes the font that matches you find the font that matches so as you can see this looks like a much better travel guide so this looks like a much better travel guide compared to whatever generic travel guide you'll see on amazon all you need to do is just play around with these elements and make sure they are balanced within the pages so this is the final copy of today's London travel guide. In the next video, we're going to make another travel guide and we'll see this travel guide series. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I don't miss what I'm going to show you in the next video.